Hi everyone, this is Heidi Gusted from the blog Hands Occupied with another crochet tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to separate thumb stitches to crochet your own fingerless mittens. So to separate stitches to form the thumb of your fingerless mitten, you're going to need to do the following. So what we've done looking at this mitten so far is we've cast on and worked straight up without increasing, without adding stitches for a few rounds. Then you can see here we've expanded a little. So over the course of several rows, we've added a couple more stitches to create what's called the gusset. The gusset in a glove is where the extra stitches come into play to accommodate this part of your thumb, this part that sticks out. Okay, so you can see in this nice chunky mitten how I did that here. So now, just to simplify things for demonstration, we're going to pretend that these stitches here are right before we fully separate some stitches for our thumb. And so luckily, it's really easy to do this in crochet. So what we are going to do in the next round, make sure to follow the pattern for your size as written. So I've chained one. And now we're going to work in that same spot where we chained one and closed our ring in the previous round. So there's one. And I'm going to work just a few single crochets till I'm at the point where I'm ready to skip stitches for the thumb. The pattern calls for you to skip five stitches for the thumb. For demonstration's sake, I'm just going to do four. All right, so we're right here. So we've worked a few single crochet stitches. Make sure to do the number that the pattern calls for for your size. And now we're gonna skip four chains like so. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four different Vs, and we're gonna aim for working in this fifth one here. So basically, you've just gotta pretend that those four stitches don't exist. So instead of going into the next V of your chain, you're gonna skip four and work into this fifth one and then you just yarn over and single crochet like you normally would. Let me finish the round and give you a closer look at what we've done here. All right, and yep, we're at the end of our round, so we're going to slip to close our round off. Now, looking at this, you can see the notch right here where we skipped those four stitches to form the thumb. Now we get to keep, if we're looking at this, right here is where those stitches were skipped. And then you just keep working in the round all the way till the end of the hand part of your pattern, like so. And then you can see my little tail here. You slip to join, break your yarn, and weave in the ends. And then when the pattern calls for picking up stitches for your thumb, you're going to go back to those chains that you skipped when we separated the thumb stitches. If this was your first time learning how to separate thumb stitches for crochet mittens or fingerless gloves, congratulations, you've now mastered it. And it's really, really easy, as you can see, once you practice it once or twice. If you have any questions or comments for us, reach out below in the comments section. And don't forget to tune in again soon for more crochet tutorials. Mm -hmm.